gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat everyone and welcome to my youtube channel yes Gail chanel's four days world is where we get down and do reviews okay it's a chance where i speak my mind and then i do a little singing and dancing okay if i feel like it and then i give you the opportunity to speak your mind fluently okay just know you're respectful and, and kind and, and generous to others you know leaving a lot of cuss words out you know what i'm saying just speak your mind but not speak it di so directly okay but anyway Oh, for the negative is what I'm saying when I'm using all those cuss words and things of that nature, okay? But thank you for all your continued support. Thank you for my new subscribers, my old subscribers, and my subscribers yet to come. Yes, like, like, share, share, and subscribe, subscribe to all of my videos, okay? But right now, we need to go on into this must-see video that I graciously got off of Media Takeout News. If you don't know who they are, go on over there and check them out at Media Takeout News. Dot com. That's M-T-O news dot com. OK, well, we got to speak on this. We got to talk about it. We got to share my opinions and my thoughts. OK, thank you. Media uh, take out for giving me this salacious story to talk about. And remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to me. But we're going to get on into it. A uh, journalist by the name of Lyndon uh, Aboe. Or just say Lyndon, okay? He's a staff writer over there at Media Takeout News. And he titled his article, uh, Petition to Fire Atlanta Housewife Eva Marcel. Uh, and they, uh, you know, he goes on to say, well, let me just read what it said, okay? I'm getting ahead of myself. Because I'm like, I'm ready, ready to cuss Eva out up and down, up and down until I just get tired and I want to fall asleep. But anyway, his article is titled, Petition to Fire Atlanta Housewife Eva called Portia and Kenya napping. Now, did she do it? Well, I don't know about, um, I don't know who she called napping, but I know she called somebody napping, okay, on this last episode, I think it was season two, uh, cheating, um, something, cheating something was the title. Y'all know, because I did the video, so go check it out. I'm 51 years old, hey, and I'm under the weather a little bit. With a cold and, and, and just congestion. But stay with me, okay? Let me get, I'm tearing too long. I'm, I'm just mumbling right now. But we're going to get into the story. It writes, Eva Marcel from The Real Housewives of Atlanta may be fired from the show if a number of activist fans have their say. Okay? On Sunday night's episode of the show, of The Real Housewives of Atlanta show, Eva called Kenya and Portia two brown-skinned black women nappy heads. Okay, I'm like, well, wait, wait a minute. And I was sitting up there listening to it myself. And I think I did go in on Eva just a little bit, okay? Because I think she got brain brain traumatized somewhere from giving birth. Because uh, she is in the black community. She is in the black race. I mean, she went to a, a all-black school. Uh, designated for uh, historical black colleges. I think it was Clark, Atlanta she went to. Okay. So I'm, I'm kind of confused. I'm kind of, what is, uh, what's her name? Yovana. So she can come back and get Eva and replace her. Okay. But yes, she went over there and said, I guess folks see hair wearing people such as myself. I got a tight curl. I can't even get past anybody in my Family, if I call my own self nappy head, but we used to call ourselves nappy head because that, that tight curl just keep when you try to comb it out, it wraps right back up real tight. I'm like, good lord, you know what I'm saying? Whoo, but when you put my head in water, you think I got good hair, but lord have mercy, let that stuff drop. Mm. But you know, we as black people, African American people, we frown when you say nappy hair. Uh uh, we can't, we don't got re institutionalized or re uh corrected our way of thinking no our hair is just uh nobody really has good hair everybody got good hair is what i was told in my family don't be saying we got uh you know nap hair what a, that's the old way of thinking that's how they want you to think so i had to be schooled by my own family member and sometimes i get schooled on here and i and i appreciate it yes we all have good hair some better than others but i'm saying you know i cannot testify to that folk c type hair Woo, girl it's a very tight coil all right but um yeah it's nothing to be ashamed of that's been a part of our heritage. And I think it's just like a coat of wool as it is biblical in the Bible. Okay? It is biblical in the Bible. So the ones that had that fussy hair, raise your head up, smile real big and pretty and say, yes, 
I got wool, honey. I got wool on my hair. It's keeping my scalp moisturized and warm. All right. Because this show sit down like a coat sometimes. Woo. Have mercy. But anyway, getting back to the article. Um, Eva called brown skinned black women nappy headed. I'm like, now just because you got a little Caucasian in you somewhere and you were blessed to have what they deem as some people, and I'm going to say it because it just need to be said right now good hair. You, you don't forget where you came from, baby, because I think your daughter kind of have 4C hair. So what does that make her? So Eva, you didn't choose your words right, baby. You ain't choosing your words right. And then you've been told or said some things about who's black and who's, you know, like we got, we got different shades of black, but all black is beautiful because we come from a large hume of different hues. You get what I'm saying? Nobody can't get like the black race because we just have it all together. We got that melanin. We got them big lips. We got them, um, what do you call it? Big butts. We got the big breasts. We got everything big. We do things big, okay? How they say big things popping, little things stopping, okay? That's what I'm talking about, people. Get with it. If I'm 51 and I feel good, beautiful, and black, surely. I ain't beautiful. You are. Yes, you are. So nobody said, tell them come check with Dale Chanel Sport Ace World, and I will put it to rest for you on them. Okay? But anyway, going back to the article, it said, Eva, Kenya, and Portia are current. Why she didn't bring her kids to Kenya Moore's presentation party for Baby Brooklyn. Yes, that was Baby Brooklyn's coming out party. I don't know if Kenya thinks she's in a sorority now or she's with the elite and she has to have all these formal dinners and parties for the baby girl that just, she just looking so cute and so surprised and, and just bouncing around and just bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Yes, she is a beautiful baby, but I, it's more mama than more so the baby. And it'll probably be that way Poor Brooklyn, her whole life, her mama always making everything fantastic and big and over the top. But honey, Brooklyn, you got a dad. <laughs> so if she getting too much over the top, go on this time with your dad, okay? So you could be in seclusion, so you could just like not be under the radar. Because when you're with your mama, she's going to be having you out on front center, okay? So get used to them. You have one that's kind of like low-key, you have one that's all out there in the spotlight. So chick, chick, chick and chick, chick and chick whichever you want to be a part of, honey. Because when you get old enough to make your uh, opinions known, Kenya can't do nothing but help listen to you. She can't do nothing but help listen to you, okay? But anyway, moving back to the story, it said um, uh, Portia and, and Eva and Kenya, they um, fell out with each other. Um, and she, you know, it's all because of Brooklyn's coming out party, not really having anything to do with Brooklyn, just the party itself. Eva claimed that she didn't know Kenya like that and wanted to make sure the energy was right before bringing her kids around her. I'm like, girl, you did too much. You're doing too much. I mean, we talking about kids. We ain't talking about y'all up and down having cocktails and, and, and bashing each other in the streets. And it's just adult. It's adult affair. It ain't got nothing to do with no children. And Kenya would not even attempt to, that's not even her M.O., that's not her makeup. She ain't got time to be fussing about no kids, okay, unless they're adult age like she did on Brielle. <laughs> Yeah, that's another whole issue because when you come out swinging you're of adult age which in a sense i still say when i hear that teen they ain't adult they had to be on went to college or travel the world 26 i consider them they should know really right from wrong and if they did shit they better be able to take it from you know whoever they trying to give it to but you know when they 18 up to like 24 they ain't really had college life they ain't had life of being on their own seeing what it all involves what it takes to live on your own and become a person of good standards you know what i'm saying or not become a person of good standards they just have to figure it out out and life would be a great teacher for them if they don't want to listen to their parents okay but yeah uh she went, she went to town in Kenya and Portia finna sew her back up. Because she don't split her pants. She don't split her pants. And they finna really sew her back up together and then discard her if they can get away with it. All right. But, okay. Going back to the article, it said Portia in true housewives fashion went and told Kenya exactly what Eva said. And Kenya felt insulted. <laughs> y'all like she couldn't come up with a better word i would have been like pissed ass poor okay pissed ass poor is word i've been using and been calling her several um related 
messages back okay they would have been texting i would have been making video after video and we would have been in negotiation like are we gonna take this from our sister who said she our sister but now her britches done got too big for her that she's thinking she's on nene and kenya's level okay or hell even candy bird's level where did the woman come from hot paul where did she come from let's send her back quick fast and a hurry okay because she don't want to it really seems like she don't want to be a part of the black african-american race however we see ourselves these days okay she don't want to be a part of us. And I should say, why have her? Let's give her what she wants. If she wants to be a part of another class, another culture, another race, let's give her her get out call. Get out of the jail being black call and just send her on her way. That's what we need to give her. Get out of jail black call and let her go away, slam the doors behind her and never to see her again. We don't want any dealings with her. And let's see how far she gets. Because we see how uh, next top model went, it was shut down, went down, and she went scrimmaging for somewhere else to go, okay? Now, she done messed up her bread and butter, maybe not with the show entirely, but with the viewers, as well as with some of her castmates, so who the hell she gonna film with? And then she done messed up, got the brat over there, the Rick was smiling, Morning show mad because she made that comment saying baby um PJ looked like um Dennis McKinley with a bow on her head. I'm like, girl, what you trying to say? Cause Dennis McKinley, he ugly. He 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 a uh, flawed in a lot of ways when it comes to being faithful. But brother's not ugly. No, he not. He's a nice look, um, nice looking chocolate chunky man, you know what I'm saying? That looks like he can take care of you and finesse you. But like I said, he's still an opportunist in my book. He ain't going to go away too soon until he's show and prove. And that's going to take time, okay? But Dennis McKinley ain't ugly. He not ain't ugly. So what was she trying to say? Dennis McKinley with a bow. And baby PJ, she chunky. Yes, she is. But she's a good chunky. She look like a big chocolate chip. Yes, she does. Do. Yes, she do. Anybody see her? She see her. Go on over there. Her Instagram page. Out on blast, on blast. But even when she's out with uh, Portia, and Portia takes very nice pictures of her. And it seems like she's so motherly. But I'm like, what you trying to say, Eva? Everybody got to be light-skinned and have that good wavy hair to get uh, a pass. Uh, I don't understand, Eva. Help me understand. But don't help me understand because, you know, I'm like, I'm mad. I'm mad right now and I'm putting you into the quiet zone, okay? Don't want you to do anything but sit on the couch. Look pretty, but don't say now. You over there with Cynthia, because that's why I got Cynthia right now, too, because I'm ascertaining her and where we want to see her later on, okay? We just want, pretty much, I'm through with Cynthia. I want her to go and have her life with her husband and let him boss her from sun up to sun down, okay? She don't need Real Housewives uh, platform no more. She need to go on with Mike and make adventures on, on her own, and then she's going to see where she should have kept her mouth shut and keep her business to herself instead of trying to share it with her soon-to-be fiancé. Okay, sometimes we got to build our empire, keep it intact, and then support our, um, what do you call it, our fiancés and our husbands in their own endeavors, but keep them separate. Keep them separate because they want to think they don't want to be with you no more. Then it's like, okay, no foul on the plate. I got all my wealth. Do you still have yours? Because you ain't getting none of mine. Remember we signed that prenup a long time ago? I'm going to help you build your empire to a certain degree, and then you have to go and, and, and nourish and make your baby flourish yourself. But what you got signed up with me over here that you knew I had before you got it, you ain't getting nothing. You ain't getting nothing, bro. Okay? But Getting back to the article, it says, uh, I am not here for the ish with these little nappy heads this year. What? Oh, that's just terrible. Okay, I'm telling you, she said while on the phone with Cynthia, I would get all the South Central out on that. I'm like, girl, what you do about South Central? Did they have an upper crest side? Because that's probably the side you were on. You went about in them streets, honey. You went about in them streets. We can let Portia just drag you around the floor because she good at that. Now, I think she can get them hands if she want to. Most people that were talking to me said, no, nah, I don't think Portia bought that life. She was just doing it for TV. No, nah, I don't think so. You push some buttons. You start talking about somebody's child and she had to birth into this world. She might get some. <laughs> She may get some extra uh, superhero type strength on Eva behind. So I don't know. I don't condone violence. But honey, when you be talking about them baby cubs, they just come out defending. It's either flight or fight. Fight or flight, honey. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, this isn't the first time that Eva made a racially derogatory remark against a brown skinned black woman. What would Eden D.R. say? Brown skin. 
Right? Y'all remember that song, Proud Skin Hunt? Huh? Everybody, everybody, every type of activist that speak on black unity, black power, they need to attack evil. Yes, they do verbally, not men, not physically, but they need to give her a lesson in black history, the, where we don't came from. Because it's like she just took every uh, card we had from the civil rights um, activist and played it until where she got, she think, oh, she got in the light skin world, half looking white and she could float. She's with her attorney husband and, and she can do whatever and say whatever she wants to, okay? But she'd rather be with the light brights than the darkies, okay? That's what Eva is giving me. That's exactly what she's giving me. And I'm like, Eva, why hate on yourself? Because you are a bad part of the black race. Whether you want to be seen, known, or is, you are a part of the black race, baby. But anyway, um, going back to the office, says last season, Eva said that Shamil Morton, a friend to the show, is is black, but not with a Q, while comparing her to black singer and former season 11 co-star Shamari DeVoe. Yesterday, a petition popped up asking for Eva to be fired from the show. The petition is currently circulating on the web site change.org. As of this morning, more than 2,000 people have signed it. So I don't know, Miss Eva, would your husband be able to um, uh, represent you or do he's going to have to find somebody in his organization, uh, in his uh, building, uh, in his, well, not his company, but whoever he works for. Or maybe he does have his own company, but I think it would be like uh, a bipartisan type issue where you would he couldn't represent you because they're family so you need somebody that is less biased to the situation and can definitely represent you because you're just blowing up and i'm not saying in a good way you are pretty much sabotaging your livelihood when it comes to financial employment and and, and gainful employment with Real Housewives of Atlanta, as well as Dish Nation. Girl, you done made enemies all the way around, full circle. I'm like, girl, is this your karma? Did you do something in the past? Why this is coming from? But then again, it's all coming out your mouth, so you're like self-sabotaging. Okay, so nobody really had to come for you. You came for yourself, blew yourself up, and now we all see the ashes floating in the sky. All right, I don't understand. You getting on your uh, uh, ex-boyfriend, Kevin McCall, running out here acting crazy. But he was a dark piece of pure perfection of a um, a man. He looks like a goddess. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to go up here and be, hit light bright up there. He's a nice looking man too. But I'm like, what do you, you don't want the dark chocolate? You ever have the white chocolate? I don't know, Evil. You got me going in circles around him. Circles, woo, woo, woo. out of my mind. That's where you go in. Trying so hard to fit in. Oh, if I could go on and on all day, but I don't want to waste my time nor my uh fans or followers or viewers of my content. Okay, but I don't know what's gonna happen either. I'm like, you're on your own. Why did it end this way? Honey, girl, baby, only thing I say is God bless. You did it to yourself pretty much. You didn't pump your brakes. You didn't un understand what you're trying to say. Even when Candy Burr was trying to tell you, slow your roll, honey, slow your roll. And now you just going to put the, the fork in the meat. It's done. It ain't, it's well done in a sense. So you, I don't know. Even. I'm like, mm -mm, I ain't looking at you no more. I'm just going to put you to the side because mm -mm, mm -mm, I could have got you probably out or tried to talk your way out of what you said. I was going to try to help you, but after reviewing it, reviewing it, reviewing it, I'm like, no, there's no way. <laughs> and we could turn back time. Turn back the hands of time. Maybe we could help you out, but nope. Mm -mm, honey, they don't got a petition on you. Everything is in white and black. I don't know if you could claim insanity at this time. Uh I don't know, Eva. I don't know. But it ain't looking good, girl. And I I would tell you, I would have to support them because it don't seem like you want to be a part of an all-black cast, pretty much. And that's Real Housewives of Atlanta, honey. That's Real Housewives. It's predominantly black. So if you want to take the money and run up and try to floss thinking you got this, that, and the third, then you want to run over there to Dish Nation when their panel for Atlanta is all black. I, I don't know where you're coming from. Maybe you need to talk to the, the brat and Lisa Ray because they, they light-skinned. Maybe they can give you a clue. 
Because they show sure love their black race. They be hollering it every day. Power to the people. You know what I'm saying? But that's all I have for this video. Y'all chime in like I want y'all to do. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about it. The subject matter at hand, of course. And let's get in here and get this discussion popping, okay? Do you want to see Eva still on the platforms of Real Housewives of Atlanta where she was making her uh her moves, her shaking, her grooves, and other um, what do you call it? Revenue adventures for her. I don't think she's gonna have none coming in, not from the black race. But anyway, or oh, she's gonna lose her position for filling in for Dish Nation. And I don't even know if the Rick is smiling, so gonna have her because he's like that real hardcore black unity power and empowerment, and he hosts a lot of HBUCs, you know, helping blacks go to black established colleges and get themselves together. When, um, what do you call it? Even going around here and calling people nappy head. I don't think they're going to take too kindly for her to even be on his show. Three strikes you out, baby girl. Three strikes you out. But okay, that's all I got for this video. I will see you next video. Bye.